what's up it's Mick Guy here and today we're going to be creating this really cool intro uh, for your scratch projects and basically this is going to be a little short clip you could call it before your scratch projects to let your viewers know about your scratch name and um, your logo and it's pretty cool it adds a more professional look to your games so let's get right in so there are going to be many things you need so let's delete this first and we're going to upload a file from my documents here it is and um, you're also going to need a background so go into your paint bucket and I'm going to choose uh, dark gray by the way I did not make this logo and also you're going to need um, in your white font well mine's going to be white all you need is your name I'm going to have mine like this you can make this in Photoshop to have more fonts and you can make it look a lot cooler but for the sake of the tutorial I'm going to do it like this so here um, we're going to make sure it's all white and we're going to decrease the size a little bit there we go and then get white and put that there put that there so, right, okay, I think that's better. So if we make everything behind it black, it should be like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. So then you're gonna go and click here, and I'm gonna erase this, I just wanna do that to see how it would look. But let's get right into the code for the main guy. Okay, so you're gonna say one flag clicked, uh, go to front, so which is in the look section and then you're going to go into motion and say go to x and x is going to be zero but y is going to be slightly greater than zero it's going to be 30. um you're going to say point in direction 90 and set ghost effect to 100. um so here we have that and then go to your size and let's see what that is say set size to zero so then go into your control and we need a repeat and we're going to make this 20 oops and in there we're going to say uh change goes by negative five so go into your look say change ghost effect which is right here and you're going to say change ghost effect oops by negative five so then once you have that the next thing is it's going to be go into your motion and say turn right or turn clockwise 18 degrees and then you're going to say increase the size by 7 so change size by not 10 but 7 actually so then go into control and get a wait two seconds and then broadcast uh, start so go here and broadcast we're not going to call it message one and so we're going to be we're going to call it start so then in uh this text right you're going to say when flag is clicked clear uh graphic effects and then go to front and um we're going to set the position here so we're going to say go to uh x is going to be negative 240 and y is going to be negative 100 and then say size equals uh, 300% I think that's good and um, we're going to say repeat 38 times and these are numbers that I prepared before the tutorial so look me took me a bit of preparation so they were like for that uh, but all you need to do is say 0.90 well, you could do that before, so you can say point in direction 90. And then um, have move, sorry, move here and say timer. And drag that here and drag in an operator, drag in the multiplication operator. All this uh, does is just multiply new numbers. So the timer, which is a constant variable that's increasing every tenth of a second by uh, one tenth and then um yeah that's it for here and in here we're gonna have one flag clicked simply go to zero zero so here we go um and then for all the sprites you're gonna say when i receive start uh simply go here 
So repeat 10 times and change ghost by 10. So go in here, change that to ghost, and then change that to 10. And to drag into other sprites, all you have to do is drag here. Make sure your mouse is over that sprite and let go. And then same thing with this. So if we look at that, it should be pretty cool. Uh, so it goes over a little bit too much. And to stop that, we need to decrease this. So maybe 37. That's still too much. So I think 35. We'll go down by 2 this time. And I think that looks perfect. Uh, but I'm going to say, uh, let's go and I think we want to wait a little bit longer because I think one second is a bit too short. There we go. That looks perfect. All right. So this is what you're going to do before your games and it'll make it look really cool. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you guys next time. Comment what you want next time and peace out. Thank <laughs> you.